Sealing your silage is all about keeping oxygen out. Oxygen is the number one enemy of any silage. In this video, you'll see examples of both effective and ineffective sealing techniques in stacks and the results of what happens to that feed quality. We can see here from the side of this silage that it's been poorly sealed on the edges. We've got loose plastic where air and water can come through. And if we just walk over here, there's absolutely no tyres at all sealing the edge of this silage. As we move up, we've got good tyre coverage down here, but as we go to the top, there's big piles of tyres still sitting on top of the stack that haven't been used. So we're here investigating why we have this spoiled silage. When we lift back the cover that has not been sealed correctly, we can see that it extends down, which we will assume extends the whole length of the pit. We can see through the use of the oxygen stopper that up here, where it's in place, we have good quality silage. But because this hasn't come down to the sides, we've ended up with mud and very poor quality silage that we cannot feed to any animal. This is a well sealed silage stack. We have sand on the bottom holding our two plastic covers going all the way down to the bottom. We have our tyres touching and really sealing this silage stack beautifully with no air movement anywhere within the stack. And all of that is helping us to preserve fantastic quality feed. We're here at another really well sealed silage stack. This time on our oxygen layer, we're using lime, not sand, to stop the oxygen from coming in as a barrier in the ground. What we've also got placed are some gravel field bags instead of the use of tyres holding down the oxygen barrier to stop airflow flying through from the open face. What sits on top of this oxygen barrier in this case is a green woven sheet there to cover and protect our oxygen barrier. We can also use tyres as well as the gravel bags to protect to seal our stack properly. We are here on top of a silage stack to highlight the importance of not only sealing the silage stack, but to more importantly, cover any holes at the time when you are sealing your stack. We can see here that when this plastic was being put on, someone's foot has gone through the plastic, but has also penetrated our oxygen barrier. What the result is, is all of this silage has been impacted with oxygen coming through and we end up with black, gooey, composted feed of very poor quality versus just half a metre away, incredible quality feed that we want to be offering our animals. Following are the key points to remember from this video. Sealing silage is more than just covering. Sealing is excluding air rapidly and permanently. Oxygen is involved in 99% of all silage problems. Effective sealing enables you to store maximum quality and quantity silage for any length of time. It is important to repair and maintain the sealing of silage during the storage period. Poor sealing results in a loss of feed quantity and quality and a potential decrease in animal production. Silage is a forage that has no contact with air. Forage exposed to air ends up as compost. For more information on this topic, please visit the Dairy Australia website at www.dairyaustralia.com.au.